to session five of the AI 101 for Teachers professional learning series. Now that we've made it to the end of the series, you may be wondering, so now what? How can I bring what I have learned into my classroom? In this session, we will explore resources that you can use in your classroom tomorrow. We will also discuss topics for evaluating new AI tools, resources, and curricula. Let's get started. As we start thinking about bringing AI to the classroom, it is essential to distinguish between teaching with AI and teaching about AI. When we teach with AI, we're using AI as a tool to enhance teaching and learning. When we teach with AI, we're often also teaching students how to use AI as a tool. When we teach about AI, we teach students what AI is and how it works. As with any technology, we want students to move beyond simply consuming the technology. We want students to have the knowledge they need to be creators and critical evaluators of the technology. You might be thinking, if I want to teach about AI, how do I know what I should be teaching? What do my students really need to know? We are in the early stages of AI in education. Although comprehensive, high quality curricula may not be plentiful at the moment, it is available and new curriculum will become more widely available over time. These are some things to consider when selecting the curricula you will use with your students. Does the curricula provide teacher supports like lesson plans and student activities? Is there a focus on what AI is and how it works? Will students have the opportunity to think critically about the societal impacts of AI? In a field often surrounded by hype and misinformation, the curriculum should strive to dispel common misconceptions about AI clarifying its limitations and demystifying the fears around it. Always remember that teaching AI is not solely about the technology itself, but also about cultivating critical thinking and informed judgment in students regarding its applications and implications. Let's take a look at an example of curriculum designed to teach students about AI. Hi, my name is Anita D. Barlaven. I taught artificial intelligence and machine learning to high school students for the last two years. From the How AI Works page, you'll notice a series of videos that Code.org has put together to clearly explain different components of artificial intelligence. Though these could be standalone videos, each is supported with a comprehensive lesson plan with various components designed to make the learning process streamlined and efficient. These elements are organized to provide both educators and students with a cohesive and engaging learning experience. Let's take a look at the first lesson. As you slowly scroll through the lesson plan, take note that each lesson comes fully equipped with a complete set of resources to aid in teaching, including slides and activity guides. Clearly stated objectives, warm-up activities, and guided notes accompany each lesson. In addition to high-quality videos, you also find helpful teaching tips to enhance your delivery and a list of additional resources for further exploration. All of these elements are meticulously designed to provide a rich, well-rounded educational experience. Take time to become familiar with the material as you navigate through the lesson. As we dive deeper into the course material, it's important to highlight that some lessons come with interactive and engaging widgets. These aren't just eye-catching elements. They're designed with a pedagogical focus to help simplify complex AI concepts and make them more accessible to students. To give you hands-on experience, let's jump into our first activity, recognizing fish. This exercise is designed to introduce students to the fundamentals of machine learning, which is a subset of AI. Here we'll be training a bot distinguished between images of fish and those that are not fish. Allow me to demonstrate. As you can see, I'm providing input data to the bot by categorizing their images. So how does the AI bot use this data? Essentially, it takes the information we provided, whether an image represents a fish or not, and looks for patterns that it can use to identify a fish. Over time, and with enough data, the bot becomes increasingly accurate at identifying fish thereby giving us a simplified but impactful glimpse into how machine learning algorithms work. Based on the training provided, 
The next step is to test the AI to see how well it has learned to identify fish. This will involve presenting the bot with new, unseen images and evaluating its ability to correctly categorize them as fish or not fish. Your students will be able to analyze the results of the training and have the opportunity to continue training the bot to increase the accuracy. The second part of the lesson is a more open-ended as students explore their own ideals and feelings about the implications of labeling data. Let's check out another interactive lesson on how neural networks work. Just as our brains have neurons connected by synapses, neural networks have layers of mathematical neurons that process information and adapt based on patterns they find allowing them to make decisions or predictions. In this lesson, students watch a video introducing neural networks and then experience a Gidget simulating a video recommender system that makes recommendations based on certain input. Once they understand how the widget works, they have the opportunity to customize a widget in its recommendation similar to how a neural network can customize its recommendations on popular media sites. They also examine how the recommendations they see are limited by the data that the network uses leading to a discussion on how they can gather more data to make sure diverse opinions are represented. Let's check out another engaging lesson that uses an unplugged activity. In the computer vision lesson, students start by observing and evaluating optical illusions. After watching a video that explains how computer vision works and how computer process visual information, they design and test an algorithm that uses a network to decide what number is shown on a seven segment display. We recognize that not every educational setting allows for extended periods of instructions. For those who are pressed for time, we offer our optimized alternative, how AI works in a day. This is a condensed version of the course, specifically tailored for educators who, have, who only have a single day or precisely 65 minutes to dedicate to teaching AI. This compact lesson ensures that the essential topics are covered efficiently without sacrificing educational impact. Throughout this professional learning series, we have learned a lot about teaching with AI. Artificial intelligence has opened up extraordinary possibilities for revolutionizing education, changing how we approach teaching and learning. It promises to deliver personalized, adaptive learning experiences for students while providing educators with tools to optimize their teaching strategies and reduce their workload. Like any tool, generative AI tools have strengths and weaknesses. One significant consideration for teachers is whether the generative AI tools meet the needs of their classrooms. When considering which AI tool you will use, you may want to consider the following. Was the tool designed to be used in an educational setting? Does the teacher have visibility into how students are interacting with the AI tool? What guardrails are in place to ensure student safety? Let's take a look at a tool that is designed specifically for use in K-12 education. Greetings, excellent educators. My name is Michelle with Khan Academy. By now you've seen the tremendous benefits of using artificial intelligence to supplement your teaching in the classroom. Well, I'm here to introduce you to Khan Migo, Khan Academy's AI-driven teaching assistant and student tutor. It's built on the latest cutting edge artificial intelligence. It's supported by all of our trusted and standards aligned content, and it's guided by humans and classroom teachers like me here at Khan Academy. Khan Migo has many exciting features and activities. This video will showcase some of the ways that Khan Migo can transform into the teaching assistant that you've always wanted. Features like the class snapshot, it's like a thermometer for your students' progress. Get real-time feedback from our reporting tools on where your students might need a little extra help and what they should be celebrated for. Are you teaching a subject that's new to you or something that may not be in your wheelhouse? The Refresh My Knowledge feature will help you fill in your own gaps so you're ready to teach your students. Lastly, with the Co-Create a Rubric feature, we can help you customize your rubric to go along with your style of teaching so you can keep your students engaged with goals that interest them. 
Conmigo is already being used in classrooms and school leaders are already seeing the benefits. It's just another teacher uh, assistant that is going to try to help them succeed. And that's what I love about it. It's just a beautiful tool. Again, teaching assistant, tutor. What more could we want in education? So let's get right to the magic of Conmigo. I'm going to go ahead and select the class snapshot button, and then I'm going to let Conmigo know which class I'd like information on. And with one click of the button, Conmigo is going to give me a high level overview of my students' performance the last seven days, highlighting key areas such as recent activity, course mastery progress, assignments, and skill development. Conmigo then gives me additional prompts which tell me which students I should celebrate, what students I need to check on, which students are 25% to their mastery goal, and Conmigo will also group my students for me based on their recommendations, which is so helpful. I love to celebrate my students, so normally I select this first option right here. Today, I really think I need to check on which students need additional support. Conmigo gives me a list of students I should check in on and suggests that I view my student's skill report, and it even provides me this link, so it's super accessible. Thanks for giving me a heads up about Douglas. Could you help me draft a progress report that I can send to his family? Oh, this is great. Oh, wait, I forgot Douglas's mom speaks Spanish. Could you please translate to Spanish? Oh, this is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Integrating Conmigo's class snapshot into my classroom routine definitely helps me support my students by providing me with data that I can use to help drive my instruction. Thanks so much, Conmigo. If you're like me, you've moved around a grade or two, or maybe you've been asked to sub for a subject that you're not exactly comfortable with. Maybe this is your first year in the classroom. Let's jump in and ask Conmigo to help us refresh our knowledge. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm going to select the Refresh My Knowledge button. And Conmigo needs a little bit more information. So how about Romeo? and Juliet, ninth grade. Great, once I've provided that information to Conmigo, it gives me the option of do I want Conmigo to quiz me on the topic or would I like to learn through conversation? Learn through conversation, please. Great, um, Conmigo gives me a quick overview of five major concepts in the play. How about a character analysis. So Conmigo is going to ask me a question that I may have to answer for my students. You know what? No, I cannot. That's perfectly okay. Oh, thank you. Conmigo is so understanding. And so Conmigo is going to break it down for me. So I'm able to refresh my knowledge on Romeo and Juliet. Therefore, I'm able to teach my students better. Thanks, Conmigo. Now, with all this, we're going to want to make sure we assess where our students are with what they're being taught. So we'll need some helpful rubrics to figure that out. Good thing that's one of Conmigo's specialties. Once I select the co-create a rubric feature, Conmigo requests the objective for the lesson and wants to know what I'm planning to grade. If I know the standard, I can include that as well. My students are going to be writing a research paper for the science lesson that we just finished. Conmigo will then ask me a series of questions throughout this process so that we're truly collaborating to co-create the perfect rubric that I want. Once I've answered all of Conmigo's questions, the magic begins, and Conmigo creates a rubric that is detailed and specific so my students will know exactly what they're being graded on. This is awesome. Thanks so much for saving me so much time, Conmigo. Pretty cool, right? As you can see, incorporating Conmigo into your classroom is going to be a game changer. Conmigo's insights and suggestions will enhance classroom instruction and learning while saving you time and energy so you'll have more time to focus on what's important, your students. Check out Conmigo for yourself at conacademy.org or in our Con Academy for Teachers social media groups full of teachers helping teachers just like you. Happy teaching. In addition to serving as a personalized tutor, helping students to learn new concepts, 
or as a teacher's assistant that creates more time for teachers to engage directly with students. There's also a lot of promise in AI-assisted assessment. Whether you've struggled with towering stacks of papers to grade, wanted to provide more nuanced feedback to your high achieving students, or felt overwhelmed by the task of collecting classroom data, these tools offer a timely solution. They offer instant feedback tailored to each student's unique learning journey. More than just a grading aid, these tools serve as a valuable ally in managing classroom data, transforming often tedious tasks into efficient processes. When selecting an AI-powered tool to support assessment, consider the following key features. Instant feedback. Does the tool provide opportunities for timely interventions, allowing students to improve their skills based on constructive feedback? Personalized learning. Does the tool adjust to each student's performance, allowing for self-paced skill mastery? Data-driven analytics. Does the tool provide insight into each student's progress? Are you able to identify trends and spot areas of improvement to adjust teaching strategies accordingly? Promote active dialogue. Does the tool promote active dialogue between you and your students? Let's take a look at an example of an AI-assisted assessment tool for writing. Hi, I'm Mandy Figueroa, the product owner for the Criterion Interactive Prototype, and I'll be giving you a walkthrough of our application. This product provides examples of how AI can help but not replace teachers in the classroom by providing time savings and structure, but it still relies on the teacher for hands-on guidance and coaching for their students. The prototype is built around this user flow, but we'll be focusing on the places where AI offers teachers and students the most benefit, scoring and providing feedback on student writing. To begin with, the teacher creates the assignment, and then the student will work on planning their essay and writing their first draft. The main focus for the first draft is planning and executing on that plan. The focus of the second draft is revising the essay to ensure it closely aligns with the standards of a specific genre, in this case, persuasive writing. Teachers will be able to review the AI-generated provisional scores and feedback before the students begin revising their essays. The focus of the third draft is editing the essay to improve spelling and grammatical correctness. Teachers will again be able to review the AI-generated provisional scores and feedback before students begin on this phase. Teachers who tested the prototype liked the structure of the app to help them manage writing assignments in their classroom. We'll start our demo with the setup and planning phase, which will guide teachers and students through getting started and creating their first draft. The first step is for teachers to create the assignment for their students in the teacher application. We guide teachers step-by-step step through the creation process. They can choose the genre the student will be writing in, the learning objectives the assignment will focus on, and then they can choose which writing prompts will be available for the student to respond to. We're switching to the student application now. Our research shows students often struggle with how to plan their writing. But the more time students spend planning their essay, the more effective they are at writing, and the higher quality their writing is. So we scaffold them through the planning process. Students brainstorm main ideas, prioritize their main ideas, and generate supporting details related to each main idea using a validated instructional strategy. After the student has completed the planning phase, they can use that plan to write a first draft. For example, here the student is writing their first main idea paragraph and has access to the main idea and supporting details that they generated during brainstorming. After writing each paragraph, students can request AI-generated feedback from the system. We use AI models to do analysis of their paragraph to identify how closely their paragraph aligns with the supporting details that they included in their plan and to identify if the paragraph is too long or too short and if the student is making good transitions between their supporting details. As students are working on their first draft, teachers may want to review the system generated feedback with them to help their student incorporate more of their main ideas and supporting details into their essay. After the student has finished writing and adjusting all of their paragraphs, then they can submit their first draft. 
At this point, the teacher will be able to review the essay and the AI-generated scoring, which brings us to the revision phase. The next step is for teachers to use the teacher application to read the student's essay that they've submitted and then review the AI-generated scores that we have given them based on the rubric the scoring is built around. Teachers have the opportunity to view the rubric at many points during this process, and a planned future feature would allow teachers to customize the rubric to allow align with their state standards and classroom scoring policies. Once the teacher reviews all of the scores and overrides any that they disagree with, then they are able to move on to the next step, which is reviewing the revision tasks that we have generated for the student. These are based on their rubric scores and give the student system-generated feedback in the form of a praise, a question, and a suggestion to help them improve their rubric score. The teacher has the opportunity to prioritize this feedback and they can edit or hide any feedback that they disagree with. as well as creating additional feedback messages. After teachers see how their students are scoring on the persuasive writing rubric, they may decide to teach a lesson about how to identify and address an alternate position in an essay, for example, but they won't need to individually add that feedback message to each student's essay who needs it. The program has already done that for them. Once the teacher has finished reviewing the student's first draft, they can send it back to the student to make changes based on the feedback they received. After the student makes those changes, they'll send the essay back to their teacher and the teacher will go through that same process, except that instead of looking at the revision tasks to align with the genre the student is writing in, they will be looking at editing tasks which are related to the punctuation, capitalization, usage, and spelling of the essay. Once the teacher is able to see which grammar errors are most common, they may decide to pull aside a small group or individual students for further instruction on specific types of errors. After the teacher has reviewed the second draft of the essay, the student will have the opportunity to work on it again to create their third draft in the student application. At this point, they can read their essay and choose which of the categories they'd like to work on, capitalization, usage, punctuation, or spelling. We show them all of the errors our AI models have detected. They can choose to make changes to their essay to resolve an error or dismiss any error they disagree with before submitting their essay. At every step of the process, teachers can reinforce their students' critical thinking skills. They are receiving AI-generated feedback, but is it accurate? How should the student react if they disagree? One of our middle school teachers summed it up this way. The AI can only go so far. You're the critical thinker here. I need you to decide, is that the word you meant? Or like, that's a sentence fragment. Once the student has submitted their final draft of the essay, the teacher will be able to review it one last time. In the teacher application, teachers will be able to see the final AI-generated scores and make any necessary adjustments before the students see their score. As you can see, there are many steps in this flow where teachers will get the benefit of AI scoring and feedback generation to help make the review process faster for a whole classroom of students. The Insights Report is available to help teachers once the assignment is started and will help them track class progress and begin to see patterns of common problem areas for their students. A middle school ELA teacher who tested our prototype summed it up this way. I mean, it can grade papers in minutes, where it takes me two to three weeks, right? This will help free up time for teachers to spend more time coaching their students based on how their students are performing. And that's where teachers shine. Thank you. As an educator ready to delve into the exciting world of artificial intelligence, you're poised to add a valuable layer to your teaching experience. Learning about AI can initially be intimidating. However, effective AI education is significantly enhanced by an educator's personal enthusiasm and dedication to student success. Joining us for this professional learning series was a great first step, but your journey does not need to end here. With AI's momentum and popularity continuing to increase, more and more information is available online. As you seek out professional development opportunities in artificial intelligence, 
consider these four components for impactful teaching and learning. Knowledge and skill development. A robust AI training program should deepen your understanding of AI and its various aspects from the fundamentals to more complex topics. It should not only enhance your knowledge, but also equip you with the skills necessary to integrate AI into your teaching. Understanding capabilities, risks, and ethics. The program should help you grasp the potential of AI, as well as its limitations and potential risks. It's also crucial to explore ethical considerations in AI, such as privacy and bias. Knowing these aspects will ensure that you can teach your students about the responsible use of AI. Community relevant AI solutions. AI has the potential to solve real world problems. A valuable AI program will enable you to identify and explore how AI can address issues within your student communities. This approach will make learning more relatable and impactful to your students. Practical engagement in AI creation. Theory is only half of the battle. A good training program should offer practical ways for you and your students to engage in AI creation. This could include projects, activities, or sandbox environments where you can experiment with building simple AI models. There are increasingly more professional development opportunities available. Let's learn more about one of these opportunities. Well, at one point, AI was in the distant future, right? Well, that future is now. So as educators, we need to prepare our students to interact with AI in, in safe, thoughtful, intelligent ways. Most of the time when people hear artificial intelligence, especially a teacher, you are a little intimidated. So you're thinking, I can't teach that. I'm not that tech savvy. I don't know that much about artificial intelligence. But after going through the AI Explorations course, I gained way more confidence, even as I was going along the course. So there were some times where there might have been a term or a concept that I was totally unfamiliar with, but by the end of the lesson, then I knew more. So to become the learner first, that is what really empowered me as an educator. AI Exploration provides a variety of free opportunities and resources for educators, from our online PD course, to the hands-on AI project guides, to our webinar series and our PLN community. The AI hands-on guide and the ISTE course that I took about artificial intelligence really gave me everything I needed to teach my fifth grade class about artificial intelligence. I'm really inspired by the fact that they're able to grasp onto these concepts. And I've even had some students realize I could be that person to create something using artificial intelligence. I think learning about AI is really fun. AI impacts our lives because you use the Google search, you use robots like Alexa and Siri and Google. You use all sorts of things. If I did create things in the future with AI, I would make a robot that brings you snacks when you can just watch TV and stuff. I really hope that students who experience this program most of all walk away feeling empowered, feeling like artificial intelligence isn't just something that happens to them, but it's something that they can control, something that they can design, something that they can influence, something that they can bring their values to. That brings us to the end of our journey together. Hopefully this series has provided you with the knowledge and skills you need to start exploring and forming your own opinions about AI in education. Visit the AI 101 for Teachers website at code.org slash AI 101 to revisit the videos in this series and explore additional resources from code.org, ETS, ISTE, and Khan Academy. Thank you for joining us. I'm excited to see how you will transform the face of education using artificial intelligence.